everyone, Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and welcome to my review of the LEGO Hidden Side Paranormal Intercept Bus 3000. Its set number is 70423, and it includes 689 pieces. It is a $60 set in the US, which I think is more than fair for the piece count, and I think we gotta talk about the obvious first, which is this crazy, out of this world, quite literally, box art. You have one half of the box art, or I guess, just kind of half of it. Some of the box art, I guess I should say, is kind of normal Lego. And then the other half is the hidden side. It's the other side of the hidden side sets, which can be accessed through the hidden side app. And at the time of filming this review, the app is not yet live on the app stores for both Android and iOS. So unfortunately, I can't take a look at the app now. I will take a look at it in a future standalone video, just taking a look at the app and everything that it can do with these sets. So keep in mind, there's a little bit more to these that you won't be able to see in this particular review. The set comes with five different figures and Spencer, who's like a dog ghost. And then if we flip the box around to the backside, you'll see the set kind of shown off in a much more natural state compared to what we see on the front. The front is very animated. This one is like a genuine real picture of the actual set that you're getting, which is quite different. Usually the front of the box actually shows what you're getting pretty straightforwardly. This one does not, which is different again. You can see all the features of the set shown off along the bottom side here. And and then again, it talks more, shows more rather about the app and how you can detect ghosts and research things. And there's a whole bunch to take a look at with the app again that I can't take a look at right now because the app is not yet available, but pretty neat set. Let's take a look at the figures first real quick. Our first figure up is Jack, and he is the main male character. He has a very nice dual molded hat with hoodie all in one piece that goes around his head, which is a really unique piece just for him right now. I don't think it's being used anywhere else in the LEGO universe. Pulling it off, you'll see how that kind of works. It's basically the hat molded into a jacket hood piece, which is very interesting. He does have two faces, so flipping it around, you'll see a much, much more scared face, pretty simplistic back print, and a pretty nice little jacket print on the front side. Also a pretty nice leg print as well. If you look in his hand here, you'll notice he's holding the phone that we see on the front of the box and actually shows a monster from the hidden side. So kind of a neat figure, definitely a nice character for the main male character. Here we have Parker, who is the main female character, and much like Jack, she has a very unique hair piece. It has a purple hair, it has purple hair coming out of it, as well as a little yellow beanie cap. And as you can see, it's kind of a two-in-one dual mold there. Very, very nice. She has a second facial print on the back, and she also has a much nicer back print, in my opinion, than Jack does. Just so much more detail to that, a little bit more fun with it. Same with the front print as well. Just a little bit more fun than Jack. His is a little more uh, casual than hers. She looks like she's wearing pajamas, kind of. And you can see she's also got a phone with a monster from Hidden Side, much like Jack's there. So you got the blue monster and the orangish monster on her phone there. Very neat. This is Worker Bill, and he is one of the two characters that you can actually have transform into monsters, and that's one of the very unique things about Hidden Side, is this guy is really going to transform here in a second when I show you guys. He's got an orange construction vest on over a black, I assume, like, long sleeve shirt with some sort of design on it that's kind of covered up by both the orange construction vest and his very cool big orange beard that they have around his neck there. You can see he's got a nice leg print with some dirt kind of put onto it, and a belt. And on the back, just the back side of the construction vest with maybe like a little patch on it. Now, and here we have Worker Nana, who is the other character that can kind of switch into one of the ghostly hidden side characters. And I'll show these both here in a moment though. But yeah, she's also a very nice female construction worker with the vest on. Got a little strap there around her stomach area. Kind of the same leg print as Worker Bill. And on the back side, very nice print as well with the walkie-talkie and various other construction accessories. Removing her hair piece will reveal her second face on the back, which has a lot more dirt on it compared to what you see around the front. Pretty simple hair piece, but like I said, these guys can switch into ghostly characters. Let's swap them over. By the way, this is the way Lego shows it on the box, just so you guys kind of get an idea of where we're going with this. You basically get the extra parts and you swap them out with what you have on the character already. 
Here's the fully switched over version of Worker Bill. You can see he's got this translucent green head, which you can see right through to the torso there. It's a very, very cool headpiece with very nice printing on it. It does look like it would be glow in the dark. However, none of these parts are glow in the dark, so don't get your hopes up. I was kind of let down a little bit by that. I had my hopes up, but no, none of it is glow in the dark, unfortunately. But there's Worker Bill with all his ghostly accessories added on. And of course, Worker Nana is very scary as well. Something really cool about her hairpiece though is it's kind of translucent at the bottom and then it's kind of painted over above that to give it more of a solid feel, which I really like. I love the way they did her hair. She also has a very scary facial expression on there with the translucent headpiece, but you can't really see through to the torso as easily on this figure. She also has a little glow-in-the-dark colored pickaxe, but once again, it's not glow-in-the-dark. Don't be fooled. Here we have JB, who seems to be some sort of monster scientist. She has a little Frankenstein emblem on her torso. She's got a giant smile. She seems very excited to be in the presence of ghosts. She also has her ghost goggles on that you could, well, in theory, drop down. But however, they are stuck to her hairpiece. Another dual molded hairpiece there. She also has some sort of, like, fluid, maybe, printed onto her torso there. Like, some ghostly... Uh, green on there. I'm not really sure. A little identification badge for wherever she works. The backside has some nice detailing as well with some accessories for her. You can see another ghost on a phone there and she also has some type of weapon that I assume either captures or neutralizes or maybe even kills the ghost. I'm not really sure what her weapon would do but it's got the sparkly purple trans purple uh, cone piece on the end there which is a nice inclusion but yeah this is a pretty wild looking character especially with the hair piece and you can see her back face her second face is a little bit more angry looking a little weird look to it a little bit of dirt on her face as well compared to the very big smile on the front side which I quite prefer to the back side there finally we have a cute little ghost dog named Spencer very cute I think a lot of people are gonna love this little guy I love him already he's so so cute oh my goodness I don't even know what to say about him he's just a cute little ghost dog he's got one stud to stand on to things and that's all you really need to know about him you'll fall in love with him I'm sure and here we are. This is the school bus along with a porta potty. But it's not just any porta potty. It's a hidden side porta potty, which means it's going to pack a little extra secret, which we're going to take a look at right now. You, of course, get some pretty standard Lego cones, kind of like a Lego City style. You have this like little construction worker warning sign, which actually you're going to attach the cones to, like so. And then when you attach the cones to the bottom of the porta potty, they suddenly become feet for something. Well, that something is a hidden side monster, which kind of reveals itself quite nicely. He's got very nice printed tiles for eyes there, very haunting looking eyes. And if you open this up, you'll actually find the inside of the porta potty uh, has a little thing here, which is supposed to be in the upward position so you don't really notice it. And then you push it down when the time comes to become a monster there. And that's like his teeth, so he'll eat you. You can also see there's actually a toilet in there with maybe a little trash can next to it. Yeah, nice and detailed in there, as nice and detailed as you can get it to be. And then interestingly enough, there's actually a brown 2x2 two two tile in the back there. It looks just like that. And you can push it out, and it's like the porta potty monster is literally throwing poop at you, which is kind of awesome. Um, that's just not something you would expect to see in a Lego set. So let's see if we can hit the school bus here very easily. Just push on it, and it shoots pretty well. There we go. Um, it went probably faster than you expected. Probably zoomed right off your screen there, but it shoots with quite some power. And this guy can just kind of waddle around. His legs obviously aren't going to actually move, but they're very cool. It's such a neat little thing that you can have as a side build for a set, especially with the school bus here, a little porta potty in a little construction zone. It's kind of fun, so you can't go wrong with that at all. But obviously the school bus is the main purpose of this set, or the main reason you should buy this set in my opinion, because it's such an awesome school bus. It's the best Lego school bus, let's be honest. And some people might modify this into a much cleaner looking school bus for their Lego City, and I would honestly recommend that if that's what you're trying to do because this is the best lego school bus build obviously they have added some things taken some liberties for what a school bus is here and added like some monster rays and the little antenna on top you have this very giant radar dish which looks like it's right out of star wars to be honest you can see it even rotates with these colors here you have some salmon you have a light blue color and then you have a yellow color and then a gray color and then it kind of rotates back around that's pretty much all you're going to see on the top side of the bus other than some very nice 
printed two by two tiles there for like the escape hatches, I would assume. Everything else on the set that you'll notice as far as detail wise goes is pretty much a sticker. Just a lot of stickers on these hidden side sets in general from what I found between both the school bus and the Newbury High School set. But it also has a little ladder there to get on top if they're trying to access all of their equipment on top, but none of this really does anything. It just kind of spins around and you're supposed to like pretend to shoot things. And I'm sure uh, it probably has some integration with the app where it will like have little particles come out of it or something. That would be my guess uh, for what something like that does. The front side of the school bus has a sticker that says school bus in case you weren't uh, aware of what this was. Oh wait, no, it's not a school bus. It actually has the S and the H crossed out. And it's actually a cool bus. Oh, Lego tricked all of us. That's actually pretty funny though. On the bottom here, it says GG4940. So that's probably the designer's initials there. And then Newberry High on both the left and the right. Very, very cool front look to the school bus there with all the headlights and everything. And then it kind of has a horn like a unicorn there. Very interesting look to that. And then more importantly, this is a school bus that has, I mean a cool bus, that has stud shooters. So we all know who stud shooters work. You literally just push on this and they shoot off. I'm not even gonna bother doing that. I think everyone at this point should know how a stud shooter works. On the side here, we have mirrors, which are using like the painter piece, which is kind of an interesting use of that. Flipping the school bus to the other side here you'll see the door for the school bus the number of the school bus which is 23 looks like it might be a little bit rusted out there and then you can see the wheels which i didn't really mention on the other side but nice lego rubber wheels as you would expect the back ones are bigger than the front ones quite small on the front side actually it kind of gives the bus a very nice forward lean i don't know you can kind of decide whether or not you like that i'm kind of uh, against that. I wish it was just kind of a flat bus, which you can obviously make a modification to. You can uh, get some different wheels in there, but at the time, or at least the set that they released has a forward lean to it. On the inside here, you'll be able to access the bus driver's area, which has a nice little control panel, or rather like a dashboard with maybe some rust or dirt on there, a lever to open the door, or at least pretend to open the door, and a wheel. It also has a seat for your bus driver, so close that right up. You can actually open panels on either side of the bus to reveal more cool stuff, I suppose. And there you go, more purple things, which I would assume with the app would give you some sort of functionality there. I think the purple uh, would be where all of the little laser beams come out of within the app. On the back side here, you're probably wondering, how do we get to the interior of this? Well, it's actually uh, very easy to do. So you actually just literally pull it all out. And this gives you access to the rest of what's on the inside. Nothing else on the inside is really usable there. That's pretty much everything all the way up to the front of the bus, which we just looked at. And then you have some extra thrusters down on the bottom, making it a super cool bus, I guess. But yes, this is the rest of the interior. It's kind of like a mobile science lab here. You can see it has different little computer panels and stuff like that with ghosts and like a ghost radar on there. You have a computer mouse and a little computer keyboard there, which the keyboard is actually a printed piece as well. You have a couple of seats for minifigures. You have, I think, a little laptop there, a microscope, which is a really cool design for a microscope with some type of ghostly thing there, maybe a ghostly fluid, and an orange can of, I'm sure people put orange juice in cans. And then finally, a little bed there as well for a character. Inside of this though, you will find a little sticker. And that's what the inside of the laptop looks like. The school bus has a very rugged design, so you can roll it around and play with it and fly it around and do different things. You don't really have to worry about it falling apart or different things falling off. The only thing I would, uh, honestly, Honestly, be worried about is the windshields maybe and maybe these little engine pieces down here might give you some trouble but other than that this set is pretty solid like it's I mean it's not coming apart very easily now like I said the only way to access the interior is by pulling this out so you don't have to worry about the top side pulling off if you're holding on to it like this which is actually really good I thought the way you would access it is these would just kind of uh, pull off quite easily but luckily it doesn't which actually makes it uh, better for playability somehow I'm kind of surprised that it ended up working out that way but it's a very large school bus, a uh, very good footprint for it, uh, especially for $60, very nice uh, price for something like this. But yeah, let's integrate some minifigs and just kind of get a feel for what it looks like in the world of figs. That's what the interior of the school bus looks like when it's loaded up with minifigures. You can see all three figs fit into the backside pretty spaciously and easily. And then of course, a little bit is left to be desired with the absence of being able to fill out every seat in the bus, I guess. Uh, you can't have a bus driver and have all your characters in the back unless you want to take one of the construction workers and throw them in as bus driver but I don't know if I would trust them because they also do seem to turn into ghosts spontaneously at some point so I would kind of steer clear of
of that. Get it? It's a pawn steer clear. This is the type of set that I think kids are going to go wild over. It's got a very nice school bus that is pretty true to life, although it does take some liberties again and add some very nice accessories, being a nice little radar dish, different little weapons with purple on them, which is kind of the aesthetic of the hidden side bus here, purple, blue, and yellow. And then obviously the figures are great. You get such a good selection with so many different colors and vibrant things going on with them. And of course, the ghostly construction workers are a very nice touch. But of course, the best part of the set is the toilet, which turns into a monster, which can actually shoot poop at you. Like... How can you go wrong? For $60 and just about 700 pieces, you're getting a great deal as far as price per piece goes, and I feel like this set is really worth the price. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. I'm so impressed by this first offering that I've taken a look at for Lego Hidden Side. I, I'm really in love. I think this is an awesome set. Uh, you guys should give it a try if you're thinking about picking it up. I would totally recommend it. As far as the app side of things, I did mention earlier that the app is not out at the time of filming this review, but once the app is out, I'll be doing a uh, video just just about the app and its integration with the two sets that I currently own, or if I own more sets at the time, it will include those, but I'll be showing off how the app works in a separate video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on if you don't want to miss that one. But that's my review of the LEGO Hidden Side Paranormal Intercept Bus 3000. Let me know what you guys think about this set down in the comments section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.